Adventures of Irving Man. Yes, it's Irving Man, strange visitor from California who came to Tacoma with powers and abilities far beyond ordinary YouTubers. Irving Man, who can change the most innocuous statement into a dumb joke, still lives in his childhood with his old TV shows, and who, disguised as Irving J. Funkenmeyer, fights a never-ending battle for laughter, music, and ad revenue. As the word elephant might suggest, our hero trio is visiting a circus. What's the matter, Mr. Haley? Something wrong? We're in trouble. You folks better sit down. Can I sit here? Yeah. At least he asked permission this time, but did you ever wonder why Clark always wants to sit on somebody's desk? Well, when he takes a bath, his bathtub is too short for him to fit in, so his knees are always up above the water, and as a result, they almost never get washed. As you can imagine, by now, there's all kinds of interesting stuff growing down there, and when he sits all the way down, he can smell it. The smell triggers his gag reflex, so he avoids it whenever possible. I promise to have our prized baby elephant there for entertainment. That's right, sir, and the children are really looking forward to it. Well, we'll have to disappoint him this time. She's missing. Oh, no. We promised she'd be there. Why, Susie's the favorite of every child in the country. Now, just a minute, Lois. Take it easy. Don't get panicky. It's awfully tough to lose an elephant, even a baby one. She's not lost. Look at this. It's a ransom note. It says, don't call the police. We'll contact you later. She's been pachyderm napped. Pachydnapped. Pachydnapped. Pachyd... How much for the busher? I'm getting nervous. What if somebody spots this truck full of elephant we're hauling? Uh, don't get excited. We're almost to the turn off. You still haven't told me where we're going to stash the beast. I spotted this place a week ago. An old tractor shed on an abandoned farm. Those faces and clothes scream bad guys. That's one thing that's been consistent throughout the series. There's no question who's who. Well, come on, get her in the shed. I never moved elephants before. Well, use your head. Make believe she's a horse. All right, horsey. Come on. Come on, horsey. She won't come by calling. You got you got to pull it by the tail. Come on. Yeah. There's also no question about the average intelligence of the ones in the bad guy outfits. Please tell me that doesn't actually hurt the elephant. Later on, one of them will take her by the ear, and I hope that isn't painful either. They close the door and drive away. What they don't know is, this abandoned farm that Busher cased last week got unabandoned between then and now. I picked some wild strawberries for breakfast, Mom. Well, for a city boy who just moved to the country, I'd say that's pretty good. We won't get the story, but it's just Johnny and his mom, and they're basically dirt poor. To make it even gloomier, today is Johnny's birthday. Well, I didn't forget. Happy birthday, darling. Marbles. Gee, thanks. I know it isn't much, but maybe next year. He knows it was a stretch for her to get him anything. What was that? More country noises, I guess. Maybe I better go out back and see. Can I? Of course. Don't stay too long. All right. It's not hard to guess what he's thinking. Mom! Mom, hurry! Gee, Mom, thanks. What a birthday present. Guys, just what I've always wanted. Just what you've always... Oh, I didn't... I mean, I bet I'm the only kid in the world that's got his own private elephant. Now ask her which of your relatives she traded for it, because that's the only way she could afford it. She can't bring herself to pop his balloon, so she just sort of goes with it. I do have one suggestion for her. You're on a farm. Plant peanuts. Busher. What's the matter with you? I telephoned Haiti like you said. Yeah. Then I stopped to check on the elephant like you said. Oh. I got news for you. Yeah. That deserted farmhouse ain't deserted. What? Some kid teaching the animal tricks. She's a circus elephant. Chances are she already knows the tricks and she's showing off for Johnny. What about Superman? You know, we read in the paper where he promised the elephant to some kids. He ain't going to take this laying down, you know. Well, that's what this junk is for, to take care of Superman. Whatever that rocket thing is, he thinks it'll deal with Superman. This should be interesting and probably quick. 
They're off to collect the elephant and find somewhere else to stash her. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing with my elephant? Why, we were just taking her back where she belongs, kid. She belongs here. She's mine. The fact is, we own the elephant. Our truck broke down the other night, and we had to leave her here. She's yours? Sure. We raised her from a puppy. And were they surprised when they saw what breed of puppy she turned out to be? How do I know she's yours? Why, well, uh, I have the elephant's registration slip right here, son. I can't read most of these words. What's that number? J24Y97. There's no reason why Johnny should know any better, so he lets her go. His mom apologizes for not telling him the truth and says, we can go into town to a movie to make it up to you. Find one in the paper. Mom, look. It says something here about a baby elephant. Baby elephant stolen from circus. One of the feature attractions of Haley's Circus, a baby elephant named Susie, was stolen yesterday and is believed being held for ransom. Clark Kent wrote the article, so Johnny calls him. Hello, Mr. Kent. I'm Johnny Wilson, and Susie was in our shed, and I thought Mom gave her to me for a birthday present until the men came and took her away. You got that? Now tell Superman to get over here. Now take it easy, Johnny, one thing at a time. You said there was an elephant in the shed? Yes, a baby one, honest. But the men came and took her away. They said they owned her. What men, Johnny? What men do you mean? I don't know, but they looked mean. Please, Mr. Kent, they might hurt her. Didn't your friend Superman do something? Clark says be watching because Superman will be coming by to get more information. Well, can you tell me exactly what's been happening? Well, we found Susie in the barn, and then the men came and took her away. They even showed me the elephant registration. They showed you an elephant registration? Yeah. I even remember the numbers on it. It was J24Y97. Superman says, please take Johnny into town and leave him with Mr. Haley at the circus. He can identify these men and we may need him to do so. She's so starstruck, if he told her to stand on her head and sing Swanee River, she'd do it. Have you had a contact yet? No, not yet, but I... Golly, Superman, is it good to I've see you? I've already said that. What are you doing with this rocket? Some guy handed it to him and told him to bring it to Mr. Haley. An attached note says, put the money in the rocket, point it north, and push the button. Haley has the money ready to go, but Superman says, don't put it in the rocket. Just send this thing on its way, and I'll follow it to the kidnappers. There's just one little problem. The note forgot to tell him to put it on an inclined ramp, so it just scooted across the ground and set three tents on fire before it ran into something solid and stopped. Did you bring her in, huh? Want me to go out and get it? Don't be a fool. It landed 300 miles from... No, the little problem is it's a decoy to get Superman out of the way. Busher knew he wouldn't let Haley put the money in the rocket, so they're off to the circus to collect it in person without any red and blue interruptions. That's them. Well, this is an outrage. Who are you? Ask the kid. Pop, pop, where's the money? Money? What money? I haven't got any money. Spike, take a look. By the time Superman arrives, they're all tied up and gagged, and our two elephant nappers are long gone. This tells us where Susie is. Let's see. Yes, it tells us where to go, all right. Can we go get her? Can we? Might as well. Looks like they win this one. If they have half the sense of Susie, they're out of town by now. They gotta get up awful early to outsmart you, eh, boss? Pretty early. Here's your spike. Guess what? They don't have half the sense of Susie. And now they don't have $10,000 either. How'd you find us? Your elephant registration number. I checked with the Department of Motor Vehicles, and sure enough, it was your car registration. Once the courts are done with him, he won't have that either. Susie is back where she belongs. You might say this is an official elephant registration. It's a lifetime pass to the circus, and you're invited to spend your summer vacation with us. No matter where we are, you know to take care of Susie. Did you hear that, Mom? Did you hear that, Susie? Gee, thanks, Mr. Haley. 
What a birthday present. Mrs. Wilson was delighted to have an elephant trainer in the family, but she drew the line when he started teaching Susie to clean his room for him. Hey friends, if you enjoyed the video, please click the thumbs up button and let me and YouTube know it. If you're not subscribed yet, you know what to do. And remember, you can become a patron of this channel for as little as $2 a month. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.